Justin Bonello started the Neighborhood Farms project to teach children about food production. The first shop to sell produce from a school farm opened in Fishhook recently. And some is also sold on market days held on the school grounds. But it's a lot more than just food production. So the project is based on connecting people back to their food and bringing back that village of your collective memory where you create a well-being economy that focuses on all of us. Marine Primary in Ocean View was temporarily closed earlier this year due to gang violence. This delayed the start of its farming project. Today it boasts its own tomatoes, kale, spinach, leeks, squash and other vegetables. This is Ocean View, you see, and it's all gangsterism and all, things, all kinds of things are happening around here, you see. So those things is attracting the, the whole mindset to, to, to tell them, come here and get involved in the garden. Kloppers says that managing their own vegetable farm teaches the pupils responsibility. I said to them, okay guys, listen here. I want you to take this plant today and put it in the soil. So at the end of the day, you can't say it's Yauri's Yauri garden, so it's your garden. Tristan Klein also tends to his own vegetable garden at home. Actually, I love gardening because it just helped me to um, like stress maybe, just come, just walk, pick up stuff, clean here, help him make with the, the plants and all that. So I do it when I have free time. Kloppers says there are a myriad of ways in which this farm can benefit the school and the community. They intend to sell the produce to generate an income they can use to appoint a security guard. Nadine Tehran, Cape Town.